Hey guys, you know how they say it only takes 21 days to start a new habit? I call BS. In my experience, it only takes, guess what? Two days to start a new habit. In today's video, I am going to tell you how you can start new habits faster than you think. Tune in to learn more. Hey everybody, Kelly Alexa here, fitness fanatic, keto convert, confidence coach, serial entrepreneur, and I'm just somebody who's busy in business and has, like you, often set a lot of goals but had difficulty reaching them. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how recently I have discovered me a practice that has really been helping me get over the problems I've had in the past with having a lot of goals but not reaching a lot of goals. Let's dive in and get started. Everybody, you know the drill. Make sure that you are subscribed by hitting the red button. Also make sure that you are hitting the cute little bell button so that you are notified whenever we put new content out. All right, everybody. So this video is probably gonna surprise you in many ways. And the first way is going to be, and <laughs> as I say this, you're probably gonna laugh. I'm making myself laugh because pretty much every time I say this, I contradict myself. But this could be feasibly the shortest video that you'll see from me in quite a while. I'll be right out there. I'm finishing up a video. My husband just got home with sushi. So this could be what I just said alone could, could verify that what I'm about to tell you is going to be true. That this, this is going to be a very short video. The fact that my husband just got home and has our sushi dinner could guarantee that this is going to be a short video. But the whole point of this video and in me shooting this video, I'm illustrating the point that I'm talking about in this video. So what are we talking about in this video? We're talking about how to set new habits and a simpler way and a more effective way to set habits and make them come to fruition. So there's this old adage people used to, people still talk about it all the time. It takes, tw it just takes 21 days to, to get a new habit to, to be in place. I call it baloney on that. And for me, it has never taken that long. And, and I would always use the example of like, hey, if I ever wanted to, for example, I don't want to, but if I ever wanted to say, start working out at five o'clock in the morning with my husband, I know for a fact that I'm not really good at, at, it's not that I'm not good at waking up that early. I'm not somebody who likes to wake up and immediately get my workout clothes on and go upstairs to our gym and start working out. I just, I, I don't know why I, screensaver. Um, I like to have some time before I wake up. I like to have my coffee. I like to have my pre-workout, um, my L-carnitine, all that jazz. And I just, I'm kind of a little bit of a slow mover in the morning. I'm awake, I'm fully alert and awake, but I don't like to go right up there. So if I did decide, um, as I have in years past, that I was going to start training first thing in the morning, I know all it would take for me would be to do it two days in a row and, and the first day would be the single hardest day ever. But if I did it that first day, if I got my sorry ass up at 4.30 in the morning, got myself dressed, that's the single biggest, hardest thing to do. My dog's going crazy. If you do that, your, your brain gets so used to that action that, oh my God, she did it. Sorry, there's birds right outside the window. Um, and, and, the, and then you get on the other side of doing that activity, like, like you did it and, and, and you, you completed the task and you're like, wow, that wasn't so bad. And even though that first part of getting the, getting the alarm going off, you're in bed, you don't wanna get out of bed, you get out of bed, you're cold, you're putting on you know, your, your workout clothes and you're still like, oh, I wanna get back to bed, I'm so tired, I don't feel like this. And then you first start your workout and you're still not into it, but then you start your workout, right? And you get into it. And then after your workout, you're like, damn. And you feel so good, you feel so proud of yourself, right? And then even after, after your workout, you're really like, wow. And then later on in the day, there's so many good feelings that are generated for myriad reasons because of that workout. You eat better, you feel better, um, you make better choices throughout the day. And then you go home and you realize like, wow, I don't have to work out it. I don't have to try to fit a workout in at six o'clock because I've already done it. Like, this is amazing. And, and you feel like 
ready to go to bed because you're already like kind of tired out and you're like, you fall asleep naturally and you sleep better and then you automatically kind of wake up naturally at 4.30 because your body's ready to do it. It's easier, but it's that much easier to get up the next morning because your brain is already like, we've been here, we've done that. So I firmly believe that it really only takes your brain um, a couple of times of doing something. And if you can get that thought process in your head, that's part one. Get it in your head that it doesn't take 21 days to establish a habit. It only takes a couple tries, a couple attempts, a couple days, whatever. Number two, this is the biggest part, and this has been the biggest thing for me. Um, so there's really going to be three main points I'm going to make today is, you know, number one, um, it, it, it only takes a couple tries. Number two is going to be, uh, got to get rid of this idea of perfection. This has been a huge, huge thing for me. It's been a huge thing for me with getting back to shooting video on my YouTube channel. You know what I'm doing today? I'm, I'm, av I'm avoiding thinking I have to have my video be perfect. If I was doing what I really wanted to do today, which is publishing my, my video that I want to publish on Wednesday, do you think I'd be wearing this Nike top? No. Do you, I actually haven't gone to the restroom first, powdered my face to make sure that my face is not shiny. I haven't even checked my hair. Of course, now I'm looking at myself in my, in my iPhone to see if I'm okay. Um, I still have a nail. I haven't gone to get my nails done at the salon today because I went and got uh, eyelashes done yesterday um, and today was too busy. So I decided I'm getting my nails done tomorrow. So here I am talking to you with nails that have not been done yet. Um, there's a lot of things that I would do differently. The way that my schedule worked out today was very, very busy, but I made a promise to myself. I'm, I'm back. I started, I uploaded my first video Friday. I uploaded the second video on Monday. My goal is to be doing videos on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And I said to myself, once I started and I got into my, my groove, I'm not going to stop. I made a promise to myself. I made a declaration. These are also key things I'm going to talk about in another video. The power of declaration, the, the power of making commitments to yourself. That's separate, but I will allude to that here because that is something that can be very powerful. Don't say, oh, I have to do this. Make a commitment to yourself. Make a declaration. I'm going to do this. And then you'll want to do it more. But um, I told myself I was going to do a video today. Now, the the, the setting is not perfect. I'm in my office. It's The lighting is not great. I'm using this little light here on my computer. This is not going to be perfect. I don't even know, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, when I used my iPhone to shoot a video on Monday, which also was not perfect, I don't even know if I <laughs> And I just did it. Do you see? I'm letting go of perfection. I don't even know if I cleaned off my lens. So you see what I just did right there? I'm cleaning off my lens. And I don't even care if you see that. See, I'm letting go of perfection. But if you worry about things like perfection, like, oh, I have to start my diet on the first of the month. I have to start my diet on a Monday. I have to make sure I get all of my supplements ready and all of the right meat, you know, foods ready in my kitchen before I start my diet. No, you don't. You can start your diet tonight. You can start your diet in the middle of the day today. When I started keto, I started in the middle of the day and I just said, okay, I'm going to aim for 50 grams of carbs or less every day with what I have. And that's what I did. And guess what? The first five or six weeks, I did nothing but eat spinach dip and keto bombs. And I sucked. I sucked at keto. But I learned how to do keto. And inevitably, I figured it out. And I really got into a really good groove because I, I did a lot of reading. I did a lot of research. I, I learned what to do, what not to do. In fact, I put this all into, um, I've got a free keto quick start guide. I'll link to it down below. Um, so I put it, put it into a free uh, guide for some people who are interested. And I've also got um, an actual full course online. If people want to take a deep dive into how to do keto, I'll link that up below as well. Um, but you've got to stop worrying about like everything has to be perfect before you start. Bijan, Bijan, mommy's shooting video. See, here I am, my dog's barking while I'm shooting video. Do you think I'm going to try to edit that out? No, I'm just going to say 
This is what people do. They shoot video when their dogs are in the house. I yelled out to my husband when he was out in the kitchen and I said, I'll be right out there to have sushi. I don't care if you guys know that. That's just gonna be more motivation for me to wrap this video up and keep it short. Instead of getting a 30 minute video, you guys are probably gonna get a 10 minute video. I hope, let's see. So letting go of perfection with your goals and, and realizing they don't have to be perfect, realizing that you don't have to be perfect before you start is a huge, huge, huge game changer. Look at me, I'm getting my third video uploaded and, and surprising myself, making myself proud. And guess what? Each time you do something, each time you work out, you make it more probable that you will do your next workout. For me, each time I get a YouTube video up, it's more probable that I will do more videos more regularly and do less of them like this, quite frankly. But the, the problem is like, you guys don't care. You guys just wanna see me. You tell me that all the time. You're like, Kelly, don't worry about them being 30 minutes. Don't worry about the fact that you didn't do your makeup or fix your lipstick. Don't worry about the fact that your nail is looking ghetto and stupid. We're used to it. Like, just get on there and babble on. We just, that's what we wanna see. We can, we, we're used to you being weird. So, don't worry about perfection. Don't think it takes 21 days. And then finally, um, I think that was the, that was, I kind of blended in what I was going to talk about on the last thing, which is don't think you have to start, um, you know, on a specific date. You can literally start your goal like today. You can start your goal at any second. And that was something that I was doing. Um, I'm, I'm actually going to add one more part at the end because, because this is something that I was doing. Um, well, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to adjust here. I talked about in the last, in the last one with perfectionism, I said, you don't have to put this off until Monday. That's, let's not make that a separate statement. Um, so let's leave that under perfectionism, per perfectionism. You don't have to wait until Monday. You don't have to wait until the first of the month. Let's not let that be a separate, um, point. The point that I do want to make though is, um, you know, over over planning and that's that's probably a, a really good point to close on because that's something that i found myself getting um caught up in is over planning over researching and it's it's a stalling tactic um sometimes we do it we don't even realize that we're doing it um we can stall and um, get caught up in planning our goals, researching, um, doing investigative research, um, trying to make sure we've got everything in order. And that can kind of go along with perfectionism. Um, finding the best, if you're creating a website, you know, maybe that's one of your goals, you're creating a website and you don't want to go live with your website until, you know, you find out you've got oh new software. Oh, I'm going to need this. I need a new email list. I've got to research this. I've got to find out this. Um, maybe you're going to go live with a YouTube channel and you think you, you know, you're going to use your iPhone, but then you're like, Oh no, I need a camera. I've got to research this. I've got to take this for me. I was getting really caught up for about a year, year and a half with taking online courses about every topic on the planet. And that's all I did I was taking course after course, after course, after course, after course. So I was spending all this money, taking all these courses and not executing. So start to, to take a step back, realize what you want and realize that the, the single most important thing towards getting what you want is activity. And that should be above all everything else. Figure out how you can get into activity more than anything else. And that's what I, when, when I realized like, <laughs> I was letting a lot of things get in the way of activity. And these are the things that I've pushed out of the way. Perfectionism. Um, I, <laughs> this is how bad, this is when my short-term memory gets in my way. So um, over planning, perfectionism, and um, thinking, well, I've never really thought it took 21 days, but um, that's more for your benefit. So number one, it only takes two days or two, two tries. Um, number two, get rid of perfectionism. And number three, stop spending so much time in planning mode and start executing.
that's it, you guys. It's time for me to go eat sushi with my husband. Um, I hope this was super helpful. Let me know what questions you have down in the comments below. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments. I'd really love to hear from you guys. Um, got a lot more videos coming at you and let me know how proud of me you are in the videos that I have now put three videos up without worrying about everything being perfect. Still shooting this one on my iPhone because my other phone, my, my brand new camera is charging. But see, I'm not worried about perfectionism. So there's that. I will see you guys next time on The Kelly O Show. Thanks for tuning in.